Good morning. Me Steve Farragher. It's day day three of the continuous big shave. Live. Live from Liverpool. Live from Liverpool. Uh, in the UK. Just keep dropping things. Uh, I feel a bit rough this morning, which is a bit hard for me because I don't drink. So it must be some chaos. That's a really rough night. Got woke up a couple of times and uh, woke up feeling a bit sick actually, but I feel okay now. I feel fine. I feel fine enough to talk to you people. Okay, so we're going to do something a little bit different today. We're going to try this razor. Okay, can you still you know, see it? Is this heresy? I ask myself, you know, because this has got four blades on it or three blades or something. This is a thing called an Azer. Launched last about two years ago by King of Shaves, who do the the shaving oil that's supposed to make shaving easier, which doesn't really stick to Arco soap. Uh, I don't think it was a success because I managed to get one of these on eBay for about two quid. Uh, it's a bit like a potato peeler. It uses this sort of cantilever. So it's quite odd because you you hold this sort of flask against your face like that. To some extent, it's a bit like a it's like a single blade razor, like a cutthroat razor. The angle that you got over. Um, I've got a couple of extra blades, and I've used it once. It was okay, so I'm going to have another go today. Um, okay, there you go. Yeah, I'm starting off with the old badger brush, and also a little soap tub with the Arco soap in it. I was bought some really nice posh Lacatine soap for Christmas, so I'm going to try that one day. See if it's any better. When I have tried the uh, expensive soap in the past, it's not been any better. So. I'm not holding out much hope. So you pay about 15 quid for a lump of soap when you can pay a pound for a block. Okay, I'm gonna concentrate on my lathering technique today. Build up a nice, nice rich soapy. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so what have I been up to? I did a radio show yesterday, um, which is interesting because it was mainly made up of other bits of old radio programs just to make it easy. Okay, so this is the can okay, we're going with the growth. It's dragging a little bit. It does drag. Now in theory, because this, this has got four blades on it, it's, it should, you know, between you and me, four blades should be, you should only have to shave once really when you think about it. Ow, 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 that's quite, that pull's quite bad there. Okay, so that's your first one. So smoother than an ordinary blade. Oh, I'd say that though, wouldn't I? I would say that. Okay, so next, next bit of lather. This time we're going against the growth. Going across the growth, I mean, I would say that. The line of the chin. Still dragging. It's uh, quite smooth. And then finally, the last. The last crucial bit of shaving, which is down the, the jawline. Uh, okay, so we're going to be on the radio. I'm not going to be on the radio today. We go to kvfm.co.uk around about 12 noon. GMT, you'll hear Margie, Margie and Arthur Ellison, two local people. Both really fascinating characters, really. Arthur used to be a plumber. And then about 10 years ago, started writing scripts for television programmes. He, he did this programme called Brookside, which doesn't, is not anymore. Another programme called Hollyoaks. Uh, and he then wrote some episodes for this programme called The Street, which won loads of awards. Okay, just, 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 just dot around. So they're doing a show. 12 till 2, and that'll be played out this evening as well, 6 to 8 Greenwich Mean Time. 10 till 12 Greenwich Mean Time, and then tomorrow morning, 6 to 8 in the morning, 6 a.m. 
I usually have some interesting guests. Okay. That's a good smooth shave, that. Wasn't impressed with the first two passes, but this last pass has really finished it off, really. That's pretty smooth. No cuts, no abrasions. Just trying to work out what's any areas that have not been. There's a little bit there, a little bit there. You can be quite ruthless with this, really, because you're not frightened to cut yourself. So in theory, I've, I've shaved myself 12 times, at my because it's got four blades on it. So that's a King of Shaves Azer. Picking up on eBay really cheap. They were about eight, nine quid. They're a couple of quid now. But a funny thing, really. They're a bit light. Don't like them. A bit light. I'll do... Use them once in a while when I'm not, you know, don't want to shave with an ordinary razor. And, uh, So that's most of it done. Let's just finish off now by cleaning up all the soap. Hello. Uh, drying off my face. Oh god. Eyes are killing me. <sighs> and then the first thing, next thing of course is the uh, clown. You should all be joining in now really, shouldn't you? You should be going. Clown, 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 clown. Okay, there we go. Oh. The clown in. Invigorates the skin. Uh, you probably wonder why I'm snuffling all the time. I've got blocked up sinuses because I've been been taking snuff. I don't smoke, but I take snuff now and then. And uh, there's probably a bit of brown there as well. It's just tell me nose. Okay. It's a disgusting habit. Don't ask me to defend it. It's just makes you feel good. But I will stop at the weekend. Okay, so I'll just moisturise it. That's oh, making my eyes feel better. And I'll finish off with your favourite aftershave. Which in this case is uh, Next Pure Platinum. But it's put it on. And then you're ready for the day, ready to set off. Probably clean shave, you can see. See how good that is. Okay, so that's me, Steve Farragher. Liverpool, England, UK. Shaving. Need me here doing as well. Okay, see you tomorrow. <laughs>